in today's video we'll talk about uh, code tool uh, it's a great tool for doing quick uh, massing comparison and to see which uh, option performs better uh, compared to others so to begin with uh, this is a one quick 3d model that i've created in revit uh, it has few walls, glazing, skylight, and roof. So once you are done modeling your basic elements, you can go to uh, Add-ins and create Core Tool Views. So once you create Core Tool Views, uh, you will see all the views here in the 3D Views tab. So if you click on uh, exterior walls the code tool creates uh, walls off of the model that you uh, made in your Revit so same with the floors, walls, roofs, skylights so on and so forth so in my case I don't have any shading device so it doesn't show anything in the shading device view and these are the few glazing windows that I have created. So now one very important thing to remember is uh, export the views only after you have created your 3D model and why that is is because let's say after creating the views I decide to create uh, add few walls let's say. So and adding certain walls in here over here so now you can see that if I go to my floors view I see them if I go to my roofs view I see them if I go to the windows view I see them so the element that's created after creating views will show up in all your uh, 3d views which is wrong so uh, remember to either hide it from the the other views or uh, export new views only after you have you are done modeling all your elements so once that's done uh, you can go to uh, go tool again and uh, you can choose switch project so for me uh, this is okay where it is um, I can export the heights so what it does it it exports uh, this information into a cloud-based software to uh, run analysis so it has two parts one is this extension for your 3d model and the other is the cloud-based platform where the actual analysis is being run so if I exported all my uh, doors windows and other elements to the uh, to the cloud once you are logged in uh, you can see all your projects so uh, that one was a com L shape so uh, once you have a, uh, once you come to your uh, uh, project page, you can edit the image, choose one as a thumbnail. You can choose the category that uh, for me this is an educational project. Uh, I already have an address. You can type in the address if you need to. Choose the uh, Choose the energy code that you want to apply for this building and matrix. Once that's done, you can save and continue. So, once you continue, your you can. Since we already have a 3D model, I can directly go to the daylight analysis page. So, in the daylight analysis, it gives a quick. Oh, 
analysis of how uh, the annual sunlight exposure and spatial daylight works for this particular place. So you can choose to turn on certain elements from the model. So for me, this is fine. You can choose the day or time. Uh, this is a new function actually now. Uh, so once I click on SDA, uh, you can toggle between floors. So let me turn off all other uh, elements from the view so we can just see the uh, SPA results click the top view so it's not the best looking uh, rendering but it still gets the job done so it gives you a quick run of uh, what's the percentage for SPA and same for ASC you can again toggle between floors and uh, look at what your uh, annual sunlight exposure is it's a quick visual uh, tool to learn what's happening in your space so for me since now this is a 3d massing analysis uh, i'll stop here you, once you are at a stage where you are in the CDs or you already know your building systems you can fill in your roof R values U values uh, you can choose your building systems but uh, here uh, for now I'll keep uh, these values default since I'm doing a massing comparison between three options so my R values and U values are uh, common parameter so I'm not changing it for now so once that's done uh, it gives you a rough update of what your total building UI is going to look like so uh, now let's go back to the projects so in the projects tab you can see all your projects that you have created uh, so for me i want to do comparison between these three options so i'm choosing uh, bar option l option and l scheme with three stories and choose compare so once you do that it gives you a breakdown of uis for these three options so um, it's a quick easy way to visualize the results and make decision in terms of uh, what's a better performing building at a very preliminary level just based on the shape uh, area uh, heights of the floor so after doing that um, i created a, a sort of a, a comparison page so here is the breakdown between three options uh, the first one is the L shape the second is a bar shape and the third is L shape with three stories I think the first one is the L shape with three stories this one is two stories so we can do the first floor comparison in this one uh, it's much darker uh, in the central part of the floor plate because they are much wider floor plates the second floor does much better because it's a 20 feet high floor-to-floor uh, -floor, uh, volume so we can see that it's way more lit compared to the ground floor which is a 15 feet high floor-to-floor -floor, uh, volume and then uh, the third floor uh, has a lot of glare so now we can compare that this one has a 75% SPA, this is at 60%, this is at again 49, 50% SPA. In terms of annual sunlight exposure, we can see this is much more glared. Uh, south side is uh, getting a lot of glare uh, in this option as well. Uh, in terms of uh, total annual glare, here there is a significantly high amount of glare but remember it's it's a 
preliminary study where we are not uh, assigning any shading devices it's just a southern facade completely glazed so uh, this is at 71 percent this is at 56 and this is at 45 percent but this is a climate uh, which is much more cooler and it, so a strategy to keep the building warm is actually helpful for this particular climate and then we get a ui breakdown for these three options so the first option uh, performs much better and we get a relatively lower ui compared to the l-shaped two-story scheme with a deeper floor plate where it takes up a lot of uh, heating load compared to the three-story option so this from this analysis we learn that uh, we need to provide shading on the southwest corner uh, we need to create a form that's good for heating uh, we may have to create certain wells uh, light wells on the north side because north side is not quite lit on all three options and uh, increasing the floor height helps a lot in terms of getting the daylight all the way into the floor plate so this was pretty much it about core tool it's a great tool for doing quick comparative studies uh, there is more to it uh, in terms of ASC and uh, hmm, SDA it's not the best in the world I would say because uh, you can see the results are much more grainy and I can see striations so uh, and also I for each uh, point I don't see a value for the sensor so for each grid we do, do not uh, get uh, value so that's not very helpful but overall it's a great fast uh, easy tool to do quick uh, energy analysis